so first I usually take about two arm lengths of string. Let me see the scissors, Brandon. So two arm lengths, and that's what we usually use there. Then I'll just tie a half hitch here on the needle just so I can hold the string. Then we'll get started. So basically go in through the right side of a rib. And all the way through the wing, you go around the rib and back up on the other side. Just like that. So this is going to be our starter knot. And you got the short end and the long end of the string. So the, the way that I like to remember it is short or right over left, left over right, and back in the loop. So that's going to give us a square knot, just like that. Right. The string itself is coated with wax, so you can slide the knot down. And before I cinch it down, I'll leave the little legs there, which I'll do one half hitch with the short end of the string. So a half hitch is just basically going through the legs and in the loop just like that okay. so that's going to give me one half inch at this point i can still make the knot slide so we'll slide it and cinch it down now we're going to do the second half inch with the long string which is attached to your needle so you go under Basically the same thing. I'll just tighten it up a little bit more. Under the leg and in the loop to get your second half hitch. After you lock that second one, then the knot is done and it's locked and it won't get loose or any tighter. To get rid of the little extra, leave yourself a little tail there. And that's your starter knot. So we'll go ahead and do the modified seine knot. All we're doing here is hiding the string. And this is one of the reasons why there's a curved tip on our needle. So hide the string. You could even push the knot so that the knot's on the inside of the wing. Just like that. So this is what we got. Huh? The modified seine knot is the string, the continuous string comes out, put it in front of you, and you see it kind of loops around. Now I'm gonna take the needle and go down. It needs to stay on the right side of your string. So we're gonna go down and all the way through just like that and around the rib and back up. Okay. So now notice how I left a big island. And on the middle of the island, there's a palm tree. Okay, so you got an island and a palm tree. Uh, to make this easy, uh, if you always hold on to that palm tree, it'll just make life easier, okay? So now you're gonna take the needle and go underneath the south end, over the north end, and bring the north end towards you, okay? So I'll demonstrate that one more time. We'll back up. There's your island. 
on your palm tree. So you go under and over and bring that back towards you. And that's gonna give us a triangle. Then you're gonna twist the needle under the belt and then on this side, closer to you on this side of the palm tree. So, then you just simply pass the needle through. Once the needle is through at that point, you can cinch up the knot. So that's the modified say knot. You can see it gives you an automatic half hitch if you see the loop here and the string. Then you're gonna pull the extra string away from you. So now pull back because you can tear the fabric, pull the string away from you. Just like that. So I'll demonstrate one more. So all I'm doing here is hiding the string. Just like that. Usually just leave that going out. Make the loop here come around on the right side of the string all the way around don't pull the string all the way through make sure you leave your island around the rib come back up and here comes your palm tree So there's your palm tree, okay? Palm tree and island. One way to check your island is the north end should be locked because that's the continuous string there. So we're gonna do it again. Under the south, over the north, and drag it towards you, just like that. Pull on the palm tree, gives you the triangle. Twist, under, and on your side of the palm tree. Okay. Well, make sure you don't catch the string or going between the string there you go so once you see that figure eight you're pretty much done needle comes through the palm tree here is what tightens up the knot once it's done the string attached to the needle is what you want to pull away from you. And then you would repeat that over and over all the way through. Now, let's just say we're running out of string and we haven't completed the whole rib. The way to terminate a stitch is by simply adding a half inch, just like we did before, go under the legs, go in through the loop, and lock up the half inch, and you're done. So now you got two options. You can start with the starter knot here, and then the modified Sena and continue up the rib or you can simply walk around and start on the other side of the wing and do the exact same thing coming from that way from that side coming this way and you can meet at the middle um, and that's pretty much it for rib stitching